Yasyam Sandaya Manayam Yogi no Bhakti Lakshana Asrayam Badram Ikshata Yasyam By such systematic remembrance Sandayamanayam uh, And thus being fixed in the habit of Yogina The mystics Bhakti Lakshana Being practiced to the devotional system Asu Very soon Sampadyate Attain success Yoga Connection by devotional service Asrayam Under the shelter of Badram The all good Ikshata Which seeing that Translation by, oh, Translation O oh king By this system of remembrance and by being fixed in the habit of seeing the all good personal uh, the all good personal conception of the lord one can very soon attain devotional service to the lord under his direct shelter translation please repeat o king, o king by this system of remembrance, by system of remembrance and, by and by being fixed in the habit of seeing the all good personal conception of the lord one can very soon attain devotional service to the Lord under his direct shelter. Purport. Success of mystic performances is achieved only by the help of the devotional attitude. Pantheism or the system of feeling the presence of the Almighty everywhere is a sort of training of the mind to become accustomed to the devotional conception. And it is this devotional attitude of the mystic that makes possible the successful termination of such mystic attempts. One is not, however, elevated to such a successful status without the tinge of mixture in devotional service. The devotional atmosphere created by the pantheistic vision develops into devotional service in later days. And that is the only benefit for the impersonalist. It is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita 12.5 that the impersonal way of self-realization is more troublesome because it reaches the goal in an indirect way, although the impersonalist also becomes obsessed with the personal feature of the Lord after a long time. Yasyam Sandhyamanayam Yogino Bhakti Lakshana Asu Sambhatyade Yoga Asrayam Badram Ikshata O King, by this system of remembrance and by being fixed in the habit of seeing the all good person, uh, personal conception of the Lord, one can very soon attain devotional service to the Lord under his direct shelter. Uh, so in these uh, uh, a sequence of uh, um, verses in the, this section of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukadeva Goswami is continuing. And uh, the system of remembrance uh, now, of course, the uh, uh, asana, pranayama, uh, you know, sitting postures, breathing, and, and you know, calm uh, the body, the mind, fix the mind, asana, pranayama, and and, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, then, of course, coming to the point of of, of uh, uh, visualizing uh, the personal aspect. This is what has been explained. Uh, in previously and and so here he's saying that this, this is a, a system of remembrance one can do like that but we we need uh, we, we are very forgetful there is a point to be understood here uh, and our, our memory is uh, especially in Kali Yuga is not very good and we have forgotten we have forgotten our relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We have forgotten. Uh, so, uh, that is very unfortunate that we have forgotten. We have, uh, although, 
uh, the personality of Godhead is right next to us in our hearts. An amazing uh, situation. There's a description in the Srimad Bhagavatam how he is there present uh, in, in, in his spiritual form as Paramatma. The size is given, the size of the thumb, everything like that is <laughs> given. He's sitting there and we as the soul are right next to him but we're so engrossed with the material uh, concept of life that we cannot perceive, we cannot see him directly. Uh, even though he's right there. That's like if I'm, you know, if I'm absorbed in reading something, totally absorbed, it's so, uh, uh, got my attention so much. Someone can be calling, all of us have experienced it. Someone can be calling and, and we're so absorbed, we don't even hear, we don't even know they're there. Hey, I've been calling you for the last five minutes. What's going on? Oh, sorry, I was so absorbed in this that I didn't even know you were there. I didn't even hear you because you're so absorbed. So we're so absorbed in material life that even though Krishna's right there, we're right there with him. And we've not only that, we've been going from life to life to life to life, one life after the other in the same way, forgetting the presence of the Supreme Personality of God. So that is not, here it is the word is mentioned, Badram, that is not very auspicious. That is not very, very, uh, very beneficial to us because uh, as been stated before, the cycle of birth and death, the repetition of the whole thing, one life, another life, another life, another life, uh, up, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes the same. It's just continuous, the wheel of, the wheel of samsara. So that is very, very unfortunate. Uh, abhadram. Abhadram. Abhadram means very... So here the, the word Badram is used, the all good, the all auspicious Supreme Lord. Because by uh, uh, remembering, uh, it, it, you know, all of us want to have good memories and remember nice things. Uh, quite often uh, we don't have that. We had bad memories, we have nightmares. We wake up in a cold sweat or something like that. We just had a nightmare. And all sorts of things happen. You know, a booter comes and attacks us in the night. I just had that the other night up there. <laughs> First one since I've been here. I felt this heaviness on me. And then, oh, and then I woke up, oh, a booter. So all sorts of things can happen. Uh, and uh, 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 Buddha means ghost for those. <laughs> uh, ghosts. There are ghosts, subtle beings that are always around and uh, they're trying to come and uh, influence us in, in so many different ways, try to enjoy through us. So the ghosts do like that. So we can get influenced and we have memories of so many different things uh, that are not very pleasant. Uh, <clears throat> we remember it's just like a uh, yesterday I was a, a little boy, what's the little boy's name? He was running towards the stairs down over there and I thought he was going you know, to... Oh, and I, and I just ran over to stop him falling down the stairs. So, uh, uh, you know, and I, and, I, and I said that. Actually, I still remember when I fell down the, the stairs, you know, many years ago. I still remember, uh, you know, uh, climbing up an apple tree, even though I was like two or three years old, and falling, falling out. And I went unconscious. And I woke up, and my grandmother was over me trying to wake me up. <laughs> so you still remember those things. <laughs> so we have these memories. Some of them are pleasant, some of them unpleasant. But the, the, now, but the thing is that uh, uh, these are all binding, these material memories, and they can come from previous lives. Uh, sometimes uh, we, you know, we, uh, there's a memory we combine with another, another memory and make up some other whole different thing. Uh, so some are just um, actual memories, some are combinations, some are just hallucinations, some are just you know, made up by the mind, put two and two together and, uh, and you come up with something totally different that actually didn't happen. Uh, so uh, um, so the, these things are, are, are binding us to the world, but if we remember Krishna, uh, then we can be uh, elevated to the spiritual position. So all the yoga systems, all the yoga systems are meant to uh, uh, train the body, train the mind, 
uh, by the different methods and, 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 and bring us to the point of being able to focus. And then, so this is called, you know, uh, understanding, you know, in, in, in Sambandha, there's Sambandha, there's Abhidaya, Priyojana. So Sambandha, understanding, uh, controlling everything and then understanding the relationship we have with the Supreme Person. This is the beginning. And then how, what do I do to cultivate that? What do I do to uh, uh, progress in, in that m remembrance, that focus? So this is called the Abhidaya. So this is what uh, uh, Sukadev Goswami is explaining here. Uh, he's giving a system uh, uh, because now our minds are all over the place. So we need some sort of system uh, to train the mind uh, and to get in the habit of remembering good things. You know, uh, at the moment, uh, we remember all sorts of things. But we can actually train ourselves to remember just good things. And the, the ultimate good thing is a remembrance of the Supreme Personality of God. So it's a question of training. Prabhupada would tell us many times, I am training you. I am training. <clears throat> I've told this story many times, but Harry Suri told me that when he was cooking for Prabhupada, and Prabhupada came to Melbourne one time, he came in uh, with the lunch. Uh, and uh, a Prabhupada always liked fresh salt, uh, and so the salt, uh, he had the salt there on the table, but he liked fresh salt, so uh, when, when Hari Suri came, and he also liked his meal, um, you know, hot, so Hari Suri came in and he saw the salt, what was that? Okay. <laughs> I saw the sting of them. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so he, you know, he, he, so he thought that um, I have to change the salt. So uh, he, 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 before he actually brought the lunch, he, he saw that before and he brought the salt up. But as he was bringing the lunch, his little, little finger went in the salt. So then he was thinking, well, Prabhupada likes his, you know, likes everything hot, you know, so it'll be all right. I'll just give him that with the salt. And Prabhupada was watching him all the time. <laughs> He said, you are Malecha. <laughs> Malecha means, you, didn't I train you? You put your finger, you've contaminated the salt. And, you know, your dirty fingernail has gone in the salt. And you're going to give me that salt. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so proper chastise. Uh, and so many times he used to, you know, chastise his disciple, but in an affectionate way. Uh, another time I remember Dwapiana made lunch and... and uh, they brought in the lunch and the proper picked up a puri and he just went <coughs> <laughs> He said, what's this? He said, uh, that's a puri, uh, Prabhupada. He said, this is not a puri. <laughs> <laughs> I will train, why, why, if you didn't know how to make the puris, why you didn't ask me how to make the puris? And I will show you how to make the puris. So he went down and showed. Also he did with Deepak, many times here we can read how Prabhupada showed everyone. Uh, you know, another time when Deepak made that, uh, I think I told the story about that lemon rice and he made it was all sour and then Prophet made a face and, <laughs> what's this? Lemon rice? I will show you how to make that. So he went in the kitchen. <laughs> so he's training. The, the point is that the train, I am training you. He said, don't mind, sometimes I have to correct you. Uh, don't mind, but I'm training you how to come up to the topmost levels. The topmost levels. I remember, you know, like even even in cooking and making uh, uh, gulab jamuns and uh, and uh, uh, sandesh and uh, ras malai, these things are so nice. That Prabhupada tra taught us how to make these things so nice. When I went to India the first time, uh, th th I was given some sandesh or, or, uh, and some uh, gulab jamun that was, you know, not the same. It was very, uh, the, the, the gulab jamun was very uh, like cake, like uh, honey cake and and then I was at a life member's home and I said, you know, and he bought some sweets. I said, you know, these are like the sweets that Prabhupada taught us how to make. He said, yes, these are the first class sweets. Your Prabhupada taught you how to make the first class sweets. He said, actually, I got these sweets from the first class milk sweet store. <laughs> the, the first class. He said that the, 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 the street class is another thing. That's when you, that's when you get the, uh, the gulab jamun that's like the cake and, <laughs> like that, and everything like that and, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, um, 
the proper trained us not only in the cooking in the cleanliness how to keep everything clean uh, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, when he came one time to the temple, he ran his finger along the ledge of the window, and there was some uh, dust on there. And he said, "Where's the president?" <laughs> and then one time he walked through the ashram. He walked through the ashram, and everything was dirty in the ashram. And he said that just because you take bath, don't think that you are just completely clean. You may take the bath, but if, if everything is dirty, you still are dirty. <laughs> you, you, uh, you know, and Prabhupada was very, he had a very high level of cleanliness. He would, you know, have his morning clock, and then he would change in the afternoon also. He would change in the afternoon, he'd have his afternoon bath, and he wouldn't put on the same, he'd put on a fresh set. They're all clean. So training, training are all the things. So training is very, very important. You can train the body, you can train the mind, and training to remember Krishna. Uh, training to remember Krishna. It's very good to remember Krishna. The training. So here it is mentioned about the, the, the yoga system and you can do it in this way. Uh, uh, and then gradually progress and progress. And then, but uh, Sukadev Goswami adds the devotional aspect. And here it is mentioned that really to attain the topmost, you know, Prabhupada in the Bhagavad Gita in one purport, he compares to the yoga levels like rungs on the ladder. You know, uh, you go one rung, and next rung, next rung, and then you reach the top of the ladder. So, uh, one rung is one particular yoga, another rung is another a typical, uh, a, a different uh, level of yoga. So you can get higher and higher, different rungs. If you stop there, then you're known by that name of that particular type of uh, yogi. And another, you stop another level, then like the highest rung is coming to the the love, divine love, bhakti, devotion. So the culmination and the topmost position of any attempt at yoga is coming to the divine love, to the bhakti, to the prema, to the topmost perfection. So as Prabhupada mentions it here, it's that uh, the success of mystic performance is achieved only by the help of devotional attitude. It's not, uh, one is not however elevated to such a successful status without the tinge of a mixture of devotional service. So he says it a few times. Uh, you, uh, you know, to make become a, but even in the following the process of it, even if you don't come to the topmost, if you need some level of devotion, uh, you know, you, to, to follow anything for a long time, you have to be devoted to it. So actually, there's a there's a strain of devotion in everything. If you you know you dedicate yourself to it, if you dedicate yourself to anything, you have to be devoted. Otherwise, it becomes very mechanical, and you can't continue on with it. it becomes boring. Uh, and uh, uh, mechanical and you can't get if you have a devotional attitude so the the culmination of that is uh, 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 um, devotional that is uh, of course uh, Sambandha, Abhidaya, Prayojana coming to the level of uh, love of God of, of, of uh, a devotional service to the Supreme Personality so Krishna is very much gives himself to someone who is like that uh, the Krishna says that the <clears throat> the, devo the, the pure devotee is in, always in the core of my heart and I am in the core of his heart uh, he knows no one else but me and I know no one else but him so this is the mood of the supreme personality God he helps someone who develops their devotional, their love, their affection. So everything, it really the essence of everything is uh, love, prema, love. We don't have love, uh, then it's very difficult. Everything becomes very mechanical, you know. And actually, uh, if you have an affection for anyone, if you have love for someone, then you want to do things for them. You want to do things for them. If you love your wife or your wife loves you, it would be very strange, you know, where, the, you know, <clears throat> I, the husband says to the wife, um, I love you so much, I love you. Of course, these days, material, I love you, I love you, and six months later, I hate you. <laughs> so, I don't know how deep that love is, <laughs> kind of a little superficial. But uh, anyway, if someone has deep love, they, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then the wife says, oh, thank you, I love you too. Can you, can you go and do that? Uh, can you do these things for me? No. 
I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You've got a lot of love. <laughs> you just said, I love you. But then when, when, when you're asked to do something, oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Do it yourself. <laughs> you know, so, uh, 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 so, you know, love actually, love in the material world is very uh, superficial. It's not, it's not deep. So the, 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 the perfection, the culmination of all endeavors is to come to this position, divine love. Not material love, it comes and goes. But spiritual love, deep, praying, this is a very, very high level. So, uh, <clears throat> so even on all things. Now, uh, Sukadeva Goswami is presenting uh, the, the, uh, a pant, uh, uh, you know, the beginning of, uh, of uh, understanding God as a person, the pantheistic, as Maharaj was explaining yesterday, uh, seeing everything as a reflection of the energy of the Supreme or a quality of the Supreme Personality of God. I think right through this chapter is going to be more description of that. Uh, so everything as a representation of God, we see all the things in the world, and that's good. Uh, and uh, um, you know, I, I you know I remember the story where Prabhupada was walking on the beach, and and someone a disciple said to Prabhupada, you know, when I walk on the beach, I see the people around here, the nice sunny day, the way, you know, it's hard to think of Krishna. And Prabhupada said, yeah, well, I look around, I see everything. I can only think of Krishna. <laughs> That's all I see is Krishna. <laughs> so one has to develop that mood through the training. It's very, very important. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, this devotional mood is... is, is so that... So the, the pantheists, the, 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 there's different levels of pantheism even, you know, there's, there's those who see uh, everything as a representation and there's a level of pantheist who just sees the world as God. You know, there's a, that's, a, that's a kind of a lower level, you know, they just, they see the universe is God, the, the prakriti, the material energy, that's God. You know, great scientists, you, you know, would think like that quite often. They, they kind of look at the world, you know, and they try to understand the world and how amazing it is and this and that and that. That is absolute. That is the absolute truth. The world. So that's a kind of a level of pantheism. And it's a kind of a lower level even. Uh, they think of it as, as supreme. It's fairly impersonal. <laughs> but uh, here Sukadev Goswami is um, mentioning the personal aspect. Uh, uh, so this is good. And, and, and training. And, and, and another thing that is mentioned here, one is to get in the habit of doing these things. Get in the habit. <clears throat> uh, and, and sometimes you don't feel like it, uh, but you have to uh, do it. Uh, you have to kind of push yourself to do it regularly. Uh, if we just did everything we felt like doing, uh, you know, you know, just like, uh, you know, I can stand on the edge of a cliff and sometimes you may f feel like jumping off. Hey, I want to jump off, but what, what, what will that get you? Sometimes, you know, the doctor gives you a medicine and he said, take it every day, regular, you know, because these, these things take time and so on. Take it every day. We may feel not, not like taking the medicine. I don't feel like it today. But that's not going to be very good. I don't feel like it. So if you base everything on how you feel, on your mundane emotions, that's not very... So one has to rise above that by having a system. Let's see, this is again mentioned. Having a system and getting into the habit of following that system. Very, very important. Have a system and then follow the system. And to be able to follow it nicely, there has to be a thread of devotion. And of course, the beauty of those who take up the direct path of being devotees, uh, I am in their hearts, they are in my heart, one very much benefits from getting the mercy of the Supreme Personality, getting the uh, uh, help of the Supreme Personality. Yeah, tu savani, kamani, mai sanyasi, but there's one verse in Bhagavad Gita where I am the swift deliverer. deliverer. Here, here, it is mentioned also that, you know, by following this, uh, uh, one, one who takes up the direct path very soon atta attains the shelter, ashrayam, attains shelter of Krishna. Krishna very much likes to help. He helps everyone. But someone who is very much trying directly to uh, uh, come to him through love, he uh, 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 um, uh, you know, makes all arrangements out of his love for them for, so they can be extricated out of the material position onto the spiritual platform. So it's, it's, it's very wonderful to have someone to help us. 
you know, the mechanical system of the yoga, it's more or less we're trying, you know, uh, we're focusing on ourselves trying to achieve something, which we have to do to a certain degree. But we, if we do that, and we've also got the help of, of some, something higher, some, some, the personality of God, it, then, oh, this is just like, uh, you know, you remember the story of Draupadi or in, the, in the dice match <coughs> where Yudhisthira Maharaj and his brothers were invited to Sinapore to roll the dice and, and the plan was to take it, take everything away from them uh, and Shakuni hatched this plot and actually these these dice were some sort of magical dice that were fi- <laughs> what do you call the dice that are fixed uh, you know so then they, they lost everything and uh, and uh, even they lost Draupadi their wife so Draupadi, now some say this incident was really the last straw that, uh, that, uh, that caused the whole uh, war at Kurukshetra, that she was so insulted, uh, you know, that the Shashan was asked to come and uh, drag her in when they lost Draupadi, drag her in by her hair, drag her in by her hair into the assembly. Kana called her, uh, 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 called her a, a whore for having so many husbands. Right, and uh, and uh, and he dragged him by the hand, and then and 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 and, and, and not only that, wasn't it that uh, uh, um, he said, "Sit on my lap," but, you know, who uh, Durida, Durida said, "Come and sit on my lap." There were well, these husbands; they're useless. They've lost everything. You better be my wife. So he's insulted in so many, and then finally, stripping naked. Stripping naked in front of everybody. It was a, a huge assembly. Stripping naked. She was a princess, right? Stripping naked. And so Dushan, he started to do that. But then in the end, she just called out to Krishna. She just let go of everything. She tried to hold on, but then she let go of everything and called out to Krishna. And Krishna very wonderfully supplied endless amounts of sari that when when Nishita was he became so fatigued he just collapsed he just <laughs> couldn't tug anymore right so this is a very you know wonderful story that is, is known that how when she surrendered to Krishna Krishna provided her and 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 and, and uh, 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 arranged uh, everything was so wonderfully for her as far as uh, that's concerned so uh, this is very, very important. And there's another story actually from the Gita Mahatmya that when one has someone to help them on a higher level, personality, there are personality, higher personalities. And there's one story in regard to this because Prabhupada quotes this um, uh, from the 12th chant, uh, uh, chapter of Bhagavad Gita saying how it's not easy following the impersonal path because it's, it's, it, there's uh, 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 it, it, those who embody that conception to remain focused on it is very difficult. Uh, uh, but one who uh, uh, comes to the understanding of the uh, person, the to Sarma, I'm the swift deliverer. And so, in this, uh, there's one story from the Gita Mahatmya about this particular chapter where uh, there was one <coughs> king by the name of uh, Brahadrati. And, and this is in South India. His son. Uh, he died, and uh, uh, and his son went to uh, in South India one temple, Mahalakshmi temple, and he prayed to her. She was very so pleased with him. She actually appeared before him. So I'm very pleased with you. Uh, take any benediction, and he told her that, well, my father performed the Ashramada Yagya, but all of a sudden he died, and. Uh, and uh, uh, without completing the yagya, but and then I wanted to complete in the, in the honor of my father. I wanted to complete the Ashramada yagya, but as I was when I was doing it, the horse for the yagya was stolen. And even though I sent people all over, they couldn't find it. So please, can you help me at least in the for the honor of my father? Uh, please help me find the horse that was meant for the yagya. So she said, you go and see uh, uh, one devotee. He's a very great devotee. His name is Siddha Samadhi and he'll be able to help you. So uh, uh, the son of the king went there and Siddha Samadhi already, I know why you've come. And actually the horse was stolen by Indra. (laughs) And he stole the horse. 
So then I'll summon all the demigods, and many demigods came there. The horse was stolen by Indra, please go and bring it back so he can finish the Ashvamedha Yagya. So uh, the horse was brought back and the son of the king was so amazed. You are, how are you able? You're able with so much power, you can bring the devas, you can bring the horse back. You know something that I just, in a humble mood, you know, I've preserved the body of my father in pure oil. You have so much power. Is it possible you can bring my father back to life? <laughs> and uh, so it is mentioned that Siddha Samadhi just chuckled and uh, said, let us go there, let us see. <laughs> so he went there and uh, then he looked at the body. He had some water and he chanted some mantras and then he sprinkled over the body. And then the father sat up in the tank, <laughs> all amazed, all amazed. And so, and he was looking around, he saw his son, and he said, who, and then he said, it's my, who are you? And that, so the son explained everything, and then both father and son were very amazed. How did we able to do this? You know, I studied Bhagavad Gita. I have so much devotion, and I also worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he has helped me come to this transcendental position. So you too should also worship the Supreme Personality of God and study the Bhagavad Gita. So both the king and his son, for the rest of their lives they did that, they attained perfection. Of course, Siddha Samadhi was already in perfection. He went back home, back to God directly at the end of his life. So it just shows that when we have personalities who we can turn to, to help us, oh, that's wonderful. Initially, uh, uh, the, the king's son went to Mahalakshmi. She directed him to a great devotee who then was able to do wonderful things and he in turn directed them, uh, both of them, to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So it is very, very important if one can come to this level and just take shelter, Astraya, as mentioned here, Astraya Bhadra Miksha, Asu Sampadyate Yoga, Bhakti Lakshana, all these words are used here. Uh, practice the devotional system. You can go through the yoga, asana, pranayama, uh, uh, but this is a little indirect, but best to go direct. If you can go direct, that is always, just like if you're doing business, if you're buying a product, if you have to go through middlemen, then you've got to, you know, so much more endeavor. But if you can go directly to the source, oh, then that's much easier. Much easier, it'll be better, better for you. So, uh, the devotees, uh, we go directly uh, through the process of devotional service, a system of practice, uh, regularly, every day, we're doing, and we're training ourselves how to remember Krishna. This chanting, coming to the temple, seeing the deity, associating with the devotees, all these things are very, very helpful to remember Krishna. We chant, uh, we go away, we're thinking of Krishna, we're chanting, uh, chanting about Krishna, so this is the test, uh, you know, how much you are remembering Krishna. You know, uh, um, if you're, you know, you might, one may come to the temple, but then after going away, doesn't even remember Krishna. So therefore there's something, you have to concentrate more on your practices, uh, uh, to develop more uh, uh, a devotional attitude, and that's done through good association, and so on and so forth. So then one can actually uh, uh, come to the perfection very, very, very quickly, very soon. The word used here uh, is that one can very soon attain devotional service. And Prabhupada mentions it also in this verse here. Uh, 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 explicitly stated here that the devotees are very fortunate to be delivered very soon from the material existence by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Hare Krishna, thank you very much. I'll read this verse again. O King, by the system of remembrance and by being fixed in the habit of seeing the all good person conception of the Lord, one can very soon attain devotional service to the Lord under his direct shelter. Does anyone have any question or comment? Now, I don't know, is this microphone working? I've been uh, asked to repeat the question. Is it, is it turn it on? Oh. Thank you for the class, Maharaj. You mentioned about how Draupadi, she took shots of Krishna, ultimately. And you know, 
that her husband got killed with all people. No. So um, how do we um, balance the we take shelter of the devotees but how do we, we take shelter of Krishna? So um, we are just trying to understand that it's just kind of well, I mean, it is it's synonymous. You know, you take shelter of devotees. Uh, uh, actually, Krishna says, "He who ye me bhakta janap nami bhaktas chijedan man bhaktan ti ye me bhakta tamamata." He who says he is my devotee is not my devotee. But he who says he is a devotee of my devotee, he is my devotee. So uh, Krishna himself advised it take shelter of the devotee. So that is synonymous, that by taking shelter of someone who's actually a devotee and a very high devotee, you're taking shelter of Krishna. Krishna becomes very, very pleased. Uh, so uh, uh, if we want to take shelter of Radha, of Krishna, if we take shelter, this is actually the recommended process. Take shelter of those. Uh, and Lord Chaitanya recommend Dasa Dasa Anudas. I am the servant of the servant of the. So take shelter of those wonderful devotees who who have uh, given their lives uh, and, and surrendered uh, to the supreme personality of God. And that is actually and Krishna will be very kind to you. Uh, so, but and then eventually, uh, you know, associating with the devotee Krishna, you will associate with Krishna directly. All these things will come about very naturally in due course of time. So, it, so therefore, if we just follow a system. There is a system given since time immemorial by the great Acharyas and Sadhus and Saints. And if we just follow that system nicely, uh, and, and as, as completely as possible, uh, of course if we're not feeling that, if we find our bhakti going down, then there's something deficient in, in our following the system. So therefore we have to examine ourselves or we ask others' opinion, uh, others' advice. Uh, it seems my, my, my bhakti, my devotion is not so strong. Uh, you know, I have to examine uh, my, my own position and how I can improve my position. Uh, so all these things. So it's all synonymous. Take the shelter of the devotee, take the shelter of Krishna. It's all there and one will reach the topmost perfection by following the system of, uh, uh, of service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, yes. There was someone, did you want to ask a question? Yeah. Thank you for the class. Um, I have a question about pranayama exercise. We are doing pranayama into remembering Krishna. Is it like the bear or well, uh, you, know, you know, it's as mentioned here, asana and pranayama, and one can follow this particular method. Uh, and, then, uh, and, then, and then, of course, the, you know, when the dharana and jhana, the, the, you know, if you follow the system, there's asana and pranayama, and then there's a high level, so you've got to go beyond that to dharana, you know, withdrawing the senses of the mind, and then the dhyana, then the meditation. Uh, the, the, the prana itself is a, is a means to an end, and then the samadhi, uh, then you'll, you remain fixed. So this is good. I mean, if one can do that, uh, and then think of Krishna, and, and, and develop their devotional mood to Krishna, uh, then uh, that is perfection. There's no difference between such a person who has reached the perfection and someone else's. But just that, as, as mentioned here, that it is a little bit indirect, and uh, uh, but you can. That's why the beauty of devotional service is the means and the end by chanting, by dancing, just like we came into Mongolati. Uh, yesterday and everyone was dancing and this is very ecstatic uh, so sitting and doing is also good but uh, it's a little indirect because in the end you're, you're not going to be doing the prana you know when you reach the perfection you, you know you're not going to do you're not going to be sitting doing pranayama and asana and you're going to be enjoying with Krishna <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're enjoying with Krishna in so many different ways. You don't have to worry about all those things. You, you won't even have a material body. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is for a material body, pranayama, asana. But you'll be uh, have a spiritual body. So you don't have to worry about pranayama, asana. Forget about that. That's just part of the material body. But uh, these activities of devotional, sort of chanting and dancing and doing things for Krishna, that, that's like we're doing it here with our material bodies and with our spiritual bodies we'll be doing the same thing. 
So in that sense, it's more direct. It's just considered on, a, on a high, an easier way to achieve it. Although one can do it the other way, but it's a little bit more difficult sometimes to absorb themselves in that. There's many distractions. And, you know, the level of uh, feeling of uh, ananda and bliss and the taste, and the, the honey taste of just you know, is, is a little bit uh, not as full. But certainly one can achieve it by following. Yes, ma'am. Um, no, I wanted to ask you the example of the city. It depends on the word soon. We see in many places mm. um, kind of a comment that very quickly a person can achieve mm. in this first way of the world. Ashu. We know Katvanga Maharaj achieved it. Who? Katvanga? Yeah. yeah it was, it was a of Within a moment, yeah. Um, so, could you comment on the meaning of the soon and what does that speak? Well, it, it soon, soon means, you know, uh, it can be different for different people, but in comparison to our, uh, to our lives in the material world, where we had hundreds and thousands of lives in the material world and so many births and deaths and births and deaths, uh, very soon, because that can continue on for many thousands more. So in that sense, uh, even if one follows... Uh, if one follows this system, it can take a long time uh, it can, you know, or it can take a short time, but very soon, especially those who are dedicated fully, uh, and, 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 and it's mentioned here uh, in, the, in the purport from Bhagavad Gita that especially if someone who's, uh, you know, just fully surrendered, that very soon will be just, can be just in, in, a, in a moment. That in one sense, um, you know, they're already attained it. In, in, in their life, those who are fully surrendered uh, in this world, and then just it'll be just uh, moving from one realm to the other realm, continuing on. But generally, anyone who takes up the path, whether it's through the yoga uh, system of uh, uh, asana and pranayama, or whether it's the direct uh, uh, um, regulated activities and devotional service, it's just a matter of, you know. Uh, you know, one life or two. That would depend on you, and that would be, depend on the mercy of the Supreme Personality. But uh, relatively speaking, it's very soon. <laughs> uh, and, yeah. You have a question? Yeah. Oh, no. So you mentioned that you, um, yes. it's better to go directly to the manufacturer in the business, right? It's not easy sometimes. You know, have to qualify as a, you know, have some have to have some kind of resources to be able to buy some certain amount. So on the other hand, we, uh, I heard that Krishna is a person and can directly apply to him. On the other hand, uh, we have the secret succession, middleman. So uh, can you elucidate that? Well, one can, so, do, one can do both, as I explained. Uh, to most of you, that uh, you know, you can do by one can offer prayers to the supreme personality of God. Although it's it's recommended that there are many wonderful prayers that are that are uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know spoken by very advanced devotees. So just like every uh, Brahma Samhita, Govinda, Madhipur, but we can make our own prayer to Krishna directly. And uh, but uh, uh, simultaneously, we're also thinking that. To, 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 taking shelter of the devotees, so, so, so simultaneously taking shelter of the devotees, Krishna, but always doing both together. Don't do separately. Don't think, oh well, I don't need devotees, and then I'll just go directly to Krishna. No, uh, uh, you know, we're not on that level yet. Don't don't try to jump up to the topmost levels yet. We can we can uh, pray to Krishna, but in, in our advancement to uh, having direct association with Krishna, we always have to go through the devotees. Understand? So pray to Krishna directly, but the progressive march of advancement goes through the devotees. Always goes through the devotees. That is the recommended system as given by all the charis, all shastras, and by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. So I think we have to finish there. Hare Krishna, all glory to Silla Prabhupada Ki Jai.